Welcome to your personal overview. This is what you will see when you log into your profile. Scrolling down, you will see a few different sections, like your uh, personal overview message, if you supervise a thesis or dissertation, your research network map, and then scrolling back up so we can look at the top of the page again. The add new button is on the right. It turns orange when I hover over it. Uh, you can see the scholarship types right underneath the profile picture. Edit profile is what we will explore now. That link is underneath the profile picture. This first page does have most of the options. First is the name variation. If Audrey had a different publishing name, I could add that. Next is the title, uh, Senior Dean of Research and Scholarship. I could add another title or a post-nominal title, so um, PhD or EDD. I'm actually not sure what Audrey's post-nominal title is, so I will leave that blank for now. Then some IDs. Most of these came over with the migration, so leave them alone, like your B-Press ID, your author ID. If you're missing a Scopus ID and you have one, or an ORCID ID, you can definitely add those. If you don't have a profile picture, you can add that. Links are for things like LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, Google Scholar, definitely add those or a link to your personal professional website. Documents, you can add your CV here. This is one of the documents you can definitely upload. Then you will see your organizational affiliations. So this is where you would add a position if you got a new position or switch departments within Malloy. You can add external positions and these would be visible on your public profile. Same thing with education and qualifications. You could add keywords. You can add research interests. Those I think are more important than keywords and disciplines. Same thing because both of those display on your public profile. You could add your willingness to take on a PhD student, and then everyone's visibility is set to public by default. All of that was in metadata. Associated user, that is going to be you. So for Audrey, the user is Audrey. Automated search, this is where you can set up automated searches so you don't have to continuously import and add your work. You can search by your email address, that does a web search. If you put works in the digital commons often, you can set that up. Audrey's is on by default. And her Scopus one is off. So if you have a Scopus author ID, I definitely suggest that you turn that on. And these run weekly. Relations, that is you related to your content for your profile. So Audrey has scholarship, so that's what you see there. We don't have fingerprints. And display is just showing you all of the information that is in the metadata section in a different view and history and comments, which is show you any changes. So right now it's just gonna say Tabitha or a root, which would be me or the system. And anytime you make changes, especially to the metadata section, remember to click save before you exit the edit profile area. From your profile overview, you can view your public profile. You can also view all of your different areas. Audrey has scholarship, so when I click on one of those, I see her list of scholarship, which has 26 results. There's that green add new button that turns orange when I hover over it, but on the left you could see other areas, so activities, honors, and awards, and next to them there is a little plus icon, so I can add that content from here. To go back, just click personal overview and you get brought back to this page. A little bit different, but that add new button is here too, so same thing, you can click through the different categories and add something manually or click import from online source to import from digital commons, Scopus, or on paywall or from a file. That's not recommended unless you're coming to Malloy from an institution that did use Pure. Looking at the public side of Audrey's profile, this top section is all of the information that we saw in that metadata part of the edit profile. So you can see her title, her name, what affiliation she belongs to, so Office of Academic Affairs and the EDD program, contact information, different social media uh, outlets that you can search for her, her about section, her education and academic qualifications, research interest, disciplines. So this is one example of how it can look on the public facing side. We have a button for scholarship and then supervised works because she was tagged as a supervisor on a dissertation. 
I do recommend that you leave this personal user overview page message up at least the first few times you come. There is important information here that reviews what I just went through, and there is a link to the libguide that has even more information and directions and videos.